الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس ان اسلام اینڈ ان ہیومینٹی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مے پیس مرسی اینڈ بلسنگ آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از کین نا ہیومین بیکم اے گوڈ Some people argue that God can do everything. Then why cannot he take human form? If God wishes, he can become a human being. But then he no longer remains God because the qualities of God and human being in many respects are completely incompatible. The following paragraph will show the absurdity of the idea of god becoming a human being god is immortal and human beings are mortal you cannot have a god man for example an immortal and mortal being at the same time and in the same entity it is meaningless god does not have a beginning while human beings have a beginning You cannot have a person not having a beginning and at the same time having a beginning. Human beings have an end. You cannot have a being which has no end and at the same time an end. It is meaningless. God Almighty does not require eating whereas human beings require nourishment to sustain life. And he it is that feeds but is not fed al quran 6 verse 14 god does not require rest or sleep while human beings can not go indefinitely without rest but he the living the self subsisting eternal no slumber can seize him nor sleep his are all things in the heavens and on earth Al-Quran 2 verse 255 If the idea of God becoming a human is unacceptable we must also agree that there is therefore no sense in worshiping another human If God takes the human form he ceases to be God and possesses all the qualities of a human for example if a brilliant professor meets with an accident and suffers irreparable loss of memory it would be foolish on the part of his students to continue take lessons from him in that subject moreover if god takes human form the same human can not later become god since human beings by definition do not possess the power to become god the worship of god in a human form is therefore a logical fallacy and should be abhorred in all its forms that is the reason why the holy quran speak against all forms of anthropomorphism the glorious quran says in the following verse there is nothing whatever like unto him al quran 42 verse 11 wassalamu alaikum ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ